morning, LCA. I'm Aubrey. I'm Layton. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm Addison. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. I love our country. I love our state. I love our school. Speaking of our school, this is the 36th week of school. 36 weeks? That's just amazing. It's already mid-May. Mid-May. It's our last month of school. We're almost fifth graders. How did this happen? My life is flashing before my eyes. We better start looking at colleges. Take it easy, you two. We're not even in intermediate school. Not yet, but it won't be long before we're graduating. Yep, and before that, we'll have to learn how to iron clothes and... Okay, okay. Calm down for just a second, you two. It's true, that's enough. We still have two more weeks to focus. Right, there's still time to give 100% to finish strong. Speaking of strong, we had strong winds this past week. I know, right? It was so windy, I thought we'd fly away. It was so windy, I thought I'd need to build a sail. It was so windy that, you know what? It wasn't that windy. Thankfully, it wasn't too windy at the track state championship. It was at Baylor University again. How did our girls do? Let's, Let's find, find out. out. Roll it, sports team! It's time for sports. I'm Palmer. I'm Courtney, and we've got your sports update. I'm Cooper, and we're talking LCA sports today. We had a girls' relay team who headed the state meet. Our 2x200 two team qualified for the state championships. This is the second time in LCA history that this happened in track. The championship was held in Waco, Texas at Baylor University. Our girls had to run their fastest at this meet. Each team there was the best of the best in Texas. The state championship has the fastest teams there. Last year, our girls made LCA history. They placed first in the 4x200 They also placed second in the 4x100 And they placed fourth in the 4x400 meter relay. This year, due to injuries, they did not medal, but they did great. Our fastest girl tore a tendon in her foot couldn't run. She, she had one of the fastest times at last year's championship. This year she had to sit out and others had to step up. So remember, you always have to be ready for action when you're on a team. You may not be the best, but you may be needed to step up. Especially if others get hurt. Players need to show determination. That's, that's what it counts and that's it for sports. Back, Back to the news desk. Roll it, baby! That was a very informative and entertaining sports segment. Absolutely. Congratulations to the girls relay team. What a way for them to finish out their school year. It's good to see that all of their hard work has paid off. It's not easy practicing every day, but as you see, it pays off. Right. What's the use of just showing up? You might as well work. We all need to practice hard so that we can play hard. And we must be determined to learn and grow for the team. Determination was one of our character words. Let's say it. The determination. Deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. You know what bothers me? Not finishing what I started. I feel that way about homework. If I started, I would finish it. I feel that way about jokes. Don't just start them, finish them. Is it time for the joke of the week? I love the joke of the week. Alrighty then, roll it. What creature is smarter than a talking parrot? We don't know. What creature is smarter than a talking parrot? A spelling bee. also ends with an E. Dory, don't? I give up. Wait, dance! Yes, let's do it. Everybody, please stand up. Come on. Everybody up, even you right there. Yes, you with the sleeve. It's time for our school-wide shake break. Alrighty then. 
Shake it! leaders are quite interesting each way. It's true, a parrot, a turkey, an alien, and now the cactus again. It looks hot in that desert where the cactus is dancing. Most deserts are very hot and they have very little rain. Well, I wonder if it'll be the same for us this week. There's only one way to find out. Let's send it to the weather team. Take, Take it away, weather team! Welcome, weather fans. I'm Cooper. I'm Courtney, and it's time for Texas weather. I'm Palmer, and yes, we've got your forecast. Our weather this week feels like early summer. Our temperatures are heating up as storms pop up, and the night temperatures won't be so cool anymore. It's normal, I guess, and it gets us ready for the pool. True, we may not want to swim if it was too cold out there. I'm not sure about that. Kids like to swim anytime, not parents. I agree. Grown-ups just like the temperature to be just right. Well, they're older, so they definitely know better. Whether or not we admit it or not, they know their stuff. Well, let's see if we have swimming weather coming up. Are we talking about pool swimming weather or beach? Or river weather, or lake weather, or bathtub weather? Bathtub weather? <laughs> I hope your bathtub is not outdoors. Let's pretend that it was. Here's what you'd be looking at. Our highs will be in the low 90s and our lows will be in the high 60s. Wednesday and Thursday we'll have a chance for rain. Tuesday will be our hottest day as we reach 91. Our coolest morning will be Wednesday when it is low as 67. The weekend will bring us almost identical highs and lows. Sunday's high will be around 90. Friends, the heat is coming. We'll be near 100 degrees next week, so get the pool ready. We're done. Let's swim back to the news desk. up around here. No kidding, it will be close to 100 degrees next week. That's almost as hot as this episode of Good Morning LCA. I'm Aubrey and we thank you for watching. I'm Layton and we hope you have a great week. I'm Ashton and we want to remind you of something. God really, really loves you. This is Ellen and signing off. Addison, why? <laughs>
All right, here we go. All oh, right, wait, 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 hold on, not yet. <laughs> yes, <laughs> hold on. Our Ash, wait a minute, guys, stop whispering. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. It's already made. Uh oh. Ready? Oh no. <laughs> all right. You all need to chill for just a second. It's true. That's <laughs> enough. We still have two more weeks to focus. Action. Wow. Things are going. <laughs> <Aubrey. Hey, Lynn. laughs> <What? laughs> Take two. Ready? Not two. Oh, wow. Bless you. Ooh, I shout out to my family. Um, I shout out to kittens, all kittens, every type. I shout out to these two and Courtney over there. I shout out to the entire little room, I guess, everybody in this room except Palmer and um, uh, Cooper. Um, I do, sh I shout out to Mr. Marcus for helping us with this. And I shout out to my dog. I shout out to my guinea pigs. I uh, shout out to uh, polar bears and dolphins and dogs and kittens and penguins and unicorns and dragons and pineapples and watermelons. Goodbye. I shout out to my sister Avery, my um, parents, my dog, and all the horses in the world. They placed first in the 4x200 meter relay. Oh, hold on. I don't know. Okay, ready? For action when you're on a team. You may you may not be the best, but you may. Let's try these two lines again, guys. Ready for hand. <laughs> Sounds good. Good job. Okay. Really Our temperatures are heating up and storms pop up. We're on as storms pop up. As <coughs> ready? Our weather. Let's start with our weather. Our weather this week. Our ready, Cooper? This well, hold on. And are we talking about pool swimming weather or about pool swimming weather or beach? The or with a river. Or with a river. With a river. With a river. We better be. No, we'll be near. <clears throat> Ready? You may not be the best, but you may need. You may be. Hold on. That's, That's what counts. counts. That's, That's what counts. counts. Okay, hold on. Let's do it together, though. Ready? A shout out to my family Miss Atkins class, Miss Blue's class. Fourth grade, everybody in here except those three. Uh, um, and my house. I shout out to Emmy, Amelia, Anna, and my mom and dad and my sister. I shout out to every single boy in the world, no girls allowed, and my family and 